This day is starting to get really long. Punching on a wall that you don't know, you know, where you're going or you don't know what tools to use. What's up everybody? So it's 9.03 today um, and this is gonna be our first 24 hour challenge. So we have until nine o'clock tomorrow to launch our first project, which based on the Instagram poll um, is going to be Snapchat Lens Studio. So what Snapchat Lens Studio is, is the program that allows you to create um, both AR um, experiences with, with, within Snapchat, um, as well as face filters and all that stuff. So I'm gonna have breakfast and then let's get into it. So the first thing that I'm trying to do for this 24 hour challenge is to really just map out my day um, and break my day down into you know some time blocks where I can put in very general tasks to make sure I stay on track. So all I'm doing right now is in a Google Calendar um, set to the day, just mapping out my day. I'm gonna get into building this out a little bit further and I'll update you soon. Okay, so something that I just kind of thought, of, uh, thought about as an overarching idea is that one thing that I want this to be, this project to be based around is some sort of fake brand or experience um, that I can create multiple lenses around. And the one thing that I know people Snapchat at all of the time is just bars, right? So I want to, I think I'm gonna create a fake brand of a bar um, and then make some Snapchat lenses. Yeah, people can see why they would engage with them when they're at the bar, when they're out with their friends. Um, I'm gonna keep brainstorming on that, but that's where I am now in my headspace and that's what I'm thinking about, so. Okay, so based on that previous note, I think I'm 100% going with creating a you know Snapchat marketing campaign for a bar. I've updated my timeline now that that idea came to me a little bit quicker than I thought and I'll, I need to want, now create branding for the bar. Um, and then set up some publishing accounts for this. Um, I wanna prototype all of the ads as soon as possible. Um, then write copy and messaging for the ads. What I have been using is this really cool app called MyNote that has been allowing me to just, you know, map up my ideas from the start and, and, and really just take an idea and then do the necessary things um, to, like I said, map it out and explore the idea further. Okay, so I just took about 30 minutes to, you know, play with some ideas in terms of brand name and logos for the bar we're gonna make. We ended up with the name Home Bar, um, and I did some sketches. I mean, we started with like Zach and Friends and a bunch of weird stuff like that, but I think I'm gonna end it with this kind of medieval, mid-century modern. I'm gonna go into Illustrator, um, make this logo. Okay, so essentially, for like a little bit of an update of how it's going, we're at like 12 o'clock right now, noon, um, and we've, decided on this as the home bar branding, um, which ended up being and feeling a lot more elegant and high class than what I originally had thought of. I've decided, to, I came up with three specific different lenses or filters for Snapchat um, to deploy against um, the brand. And so where we're sitting at right now is the first one. I'm thinking of doing kind of like, like a masquerade ball mask that says, you know, like come find me at home bar. Um, the second one, Snapchat allows you to trigger um, a Snapchat lens based on a physical object. So my idea is that having like the bar's coasters, when someone you know, takes a photo or scans um, the coaster, it then pops up with 3D drinks that are like swiping right to left and then kind of says, you know, who's got next round at home bar? Something fun and interactive like that. And then the last one, um, I was thinking of doing a geotag. So, um, so those are the three kind of columns that I'm thinking about deploying. So I finally got in to start playing with, you know, Snapchat Lens Studio. The one cool thing I want to show you is just how easy it is to, you know, pair your device. You just go up to the top right corner um, where you where it says pair, and then once you've paired it uh, with your phone, it'll just you'll let you push it directly to your phone. So that's really cool. Okay, so I took some time to really just like map out and plan specifically for each um, like lens filter that I want to do, the tasks that I need, and also the information that I need to acquire. Um, I use MyNote again, as you see, 
and like here's each filter that I want to create and I kind of just mapped out you know general tasks and things that I need to be mindful of um, when I'm acquiring information and also just like building out some of these design concepts. I think I'm going to head to a coffee shop to really just you know switch up the environment and uh, make sure the productivity stays at an all-time high. See ya! Okay, I just got to one of the favorite coffee shops here in downtown Toronto near the harbour front, Boxcar Social, and I think I have my first prototype ready for the face filter that we're thinking about for the masquerade ball. Um, so I'm gonna give you a look at that right now. So this is what we have so far. And what I'm thinking is, so the, the elements of this are mainly the masquerade ball graphic that we made, um, and then the tagline will be, you know, come find me at home bar. And then I also would really like to make it black and white. Um, just because like I really think that that would fit, you know, their brand guidelines a lot better. So I'm going to get into maybe trying to figure out how to make this work in Lens Studio and I'll keep you updated. Okay, we just finished up at Boxcar Social and um, I'm going to head over to the office right now um, and continue just chipping away at this stuff. Okay, so I just got to the office and I think I'm gonna, this is where I'm gonna do the rest of my work for tonight. Um, I have some designs ready for the coasters that I'm thinking about, which is going to trigger the Snapchat filters. Um, it's gonna be the, the motion tracking AR piece. Um, so I'm gonna take these to Staples right now to get printed as well as get some cardboard to kind of make some fake coasters. Let's go. What do you mean? Okay, so I just got the coasters printed. I tried to do like the 3D uh, augmented reality kind of effect and make sure that it does track these coasters and it's working in, you know, Snapchat Lens Studio. This little guy jumping around um, is just a stock kind of little 3D element that they include. My whole idea with this um, filter is that when people, you know, scan this coaster that says you deserve another, I want, you know, like a 3D like martini glass or beer to pop up and then you know some text to pop like to pop and say I've got next round or you've got next round or something that people can send out to their friends. Um, but we're gonna keep chipping away at this and see what we can get done in this 24 hours. All right, <clears throat> well it's time to make these into actual coasters. You know this whole arts and crafts portion is probably a little bit overkill but All right, so I've got these, you know, fake coasters mounted on this board. I'm gonna film a sample video with these actual coasters right now so we can load it into the software and see how it kind of reacts to that. Um, okay, so I just imported the video of the coaster and it seems to be working. As suspected, yeah, the next kind of piece to this puzzle is going to be, yeah, just getting into that 3D stuff, so let's go. Okay, so I'm going over the 3D capabilities of the Lens Studio, and so it seems like you can use most 3D software because it does support OBJ. Um, I'm gonna go with OBJ because I think what I can do is just download a model of a drink, put it into a program that I know called Element 3D. So I think that's gonna be my plan. I mean, like, fingers crossed. I wasn't able to use Element 3D like I thought, so I've downloaded Blender, where I'm hopefully gonna import this model of the martinis. Um, and then there's a, I should say this too, like I've been using the Snapchat like Lens Studio documentation and it's very extensive. Like they can literally answer any questions that you have. Big thumbs up to Snapchat and making their new software super easy to use. This day is starting to get really long, but I will say that I'm enjoying this like a ton. Like just doing something 100% like, cause I want to. It's starting to get tiring, always being like punching on a wall that you don't know, you know, where you're going or you don't know what tools to use. Um, but like it's crazy like already how much like information that I've absorbed. Um, and then also just the like letting my mind completely wander in a creative way. Um, I've been really enjoying it, so. 
All right, so I've been working on getting this 3D model, you know, situated for about an hour now. So I brought it into Blender and this is what it's doing right now. Um, I'm not super sure it looks, yeah, I don't know. Um, I think from now, like from here on, I'm gonna head home and continue grinding it out there. We have a decent amount of time and maybe I'll even get some sleep tonight. So um, yeah, let's spin home. <laughs> Wide awake, but I'm still the unheard. Still the unheard of. I'm still Okay, so I just got back home. So we definitely have it working but there's you know some serious bugs. Um, it doesn't work as well as I thought it was going to. I mean, one of the things is that the reflection off of the, um, the coaster will definitely throw it off. And, um, and trying to publish this one, one of the things that we've come uh, to realize it definitely didn't go as simply as uh, publishing the Masquerade Ball one. Um, so when publishing this one, I got an invalid um, error notification, so but the list is long and it's a bunch of stuff that I don't 100% know about. Um, so I'm just going to start going through each one of these kind of, you know, one by one and seeing if I can fix them and then if that fixes the issue. But, um, and you know, it's moments, it's moments like this that make challenges like 20, 24 hour challenge super valuable. So. So yesterday, all we knew is that we wanted to learn as much as we could about Snapchat Lens Studio in 24 hours. Since I believe the best way to go about learning is doing, I started by creating some branding assets for a fake brand called Home Bar. From there, I thought of the best engagement points at any bar for people to share and use the filters. The main engagement point that I thought of was a coaster. When you get a drink, they give you a coaster. And most people take a look at it, especially when your drink is done. I decided to create a Snapchat experience that would play off the coaster and entice people to share. So the way that the user experience works is that on the coaster there are two snap codes, one for each lens that we have created. When the user scans that snap code, the lens is automatically downloaded to their phone and they can begin using it. The first one is a simple face filter that is a mask for a masquerade ball. It attaches to the user's face and converts the image to black and white to fit the home bar brand followed up by a simple call to action of come find me at home bar, entices people to share it to their story and then other people to come join. The second and more complex filter that we created was an augmented reality filter that tracked the other side of the coaster. When the user's done their drink, the coaster says, you deserve another. When they download this filter, it prompts them on the screen to look for the coaster. When that coaster is found, a martini glass is motion tracked to the coaster. The call to action on this one is, who's got next round? A simple, fun, playful message. Again, super shareable and a little bit interactive. Overall, the last 24 hours have been great. My main sticking points lie in publishing the Snapchat filters, which I finally got through last night, as well as a limited knowledge of 3D software that made the second filter a little bit more challenging. Either way, I got my hands dirty and learned a lot, and now have an actionable skill that I can apply to my business if the opportunity arises. I hope you guys learned something from my experience and got some inspiration to figure out what you can do in the next 24 hours. Make sure to follow me on Instagram to be able to vote on what the next 24 hour project will be. As well, subscribe to this YouTube channel to be notified when the next episode is out. Thanks for watching guys and what can you do in 24 hours?